25 Best Places to Visit in Cyprus If you're planning a trip and are wondering where to go in Cyprus, this guide video will help you. Plan the perfect itinerary to ensure you see the best of all that Cyprus has to offer. Don't miss the full guide to traveling Cyprus. Before starting the video, please subscribe to the channel. Cyprus being a relatively small island, there are so many amazing places to visit in Cyprus. It has so much to offer, incredible white sand beaches, a rich and complex history, some phenomenal food, and cosmopolitan cities and Mediterranean islands. Number 1. Trudeau's Mountains Cyprus is famous for its sun and beaches, but the Trudeau's Mountains are one of the coolest places to visit in Cyprus. The Trudeau's Mountains are spread across the centre of the island, with Mount Olympus being its highest peak at nearly 2,000 metres. The mountains are a Cyprus must-see all year round, in the winter. Head up to the Sun Valley Ski Area to see snow in this island paradise. Number 2. Caledonia Waterfall In the summer, take advantage of the cooler mountain temperatures and tackle the Caledonia Waterfall Trail, which is one of the most enjoyable hikes in Cyprus. Caledonia Waterfalls is one of the highest falls in Cyprus, at 12 meters in height. It's located in Plater's village, which is around an hour's drive from Limassol. There's a lovely walking trail set in a beautiful forest with incredible views. The trail is around three kilometers long and is fairly easy to complete, it's not too steep. Number three, Nicosia. The Cypriot capital is one of the best places to go in Cyprus. It combines a bustling street scene with some incredible history much of it being played out in real time. Nicosia is a divided city after the Turkish invasion in 1974. The southern part of the city belongs to the Republic of Cyprus and the northern part to Turkish-held northern Cyprus. Nicosia is packed with museums and churches, as well as trendy bars and restaurants. The old town can be a maze to navigate and so I highly recommend this walking tour. To fully appreciate the history of this Cyprus must see, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Number 4. Northern Nicosia Lifkosa. The contrast in cultures is evident. As soon as you cross the border, and you can spend hours exploring the cobbled streets of this fascinating part of Cyprus, once you're across the border, go and check out Buyakon, a traditional inn that previously housed travelers visiting the city. Today it's been well restored and has lots of small shops and restaurants to browse if you need a rest after all that exploring. Head to Hoi Paloi for a Turkish coffee or a cold beer. Number 5. Larnaca Larnaca is a city on the southeast coast of Cyprus and is the city to the east of Limassol. It's far more local than Limassol and much less built up. As a result, it's a much more affordable city to visit in Cyprus. Price aside, there's still plenty to do in this coastal city. If you love diving, Larnaca is a popular choice. The Zenobia, a ship that sank in 1980, is considered one of the best wreck diving sites in the world where you can still see over 100 articulated lorries on board. Number 6. Kurian Amphitheatre Corian is one of the ancient kingdoms of Cyprus and is one of the most culturally rich places to visit in Cyprus. There's evidence of human habitation as early as 5500 BC. It's built along Episcopi Bay, not far from Limassol. Although the city was mostly destroyed by a catastrophic earthquake in the 4th century, the amphitheatre remains and attracts many visitors. Its position overlooking the beautiful Mediterranean Sea makes for fantastic photographs. Number 7. Fig Tree Bay Fig Tree Bay is one of the most popular destinations in Cyprus for tourists and locals alike. And it's easy to see why. This stretch of white sand and crystal clear water is located on the east coast of the island in Protaras. In the summer it's packed with tourists and holidaymakers but you'll always find a spot on the sand somewhere. There are hotels, restaurants, 
and bars as well as water sports and all the amenities you might need for a perfect beach day. Number 8. Coral Bay Coral Bay is one of my favourite beaches in Paphos. While most of the beaches in Paphos are rocky or pebbly, Coral Bay is sandy. Because of this, it's very popular and gets particularly busy in the summer. I recommend you arrive early to reserve an all-important sun lounger. It's a large horseshoe-shaped cove set between limestone cliffs. The beach itself is clean and has been awarded blue flag status for its sparkly turquoise waters. It's also a shallow and calm beach, which makes it very attractive for families. Number 9. Akama's National Park and Blue Lagoon The National Park is located near Paphos and covers some 230 square kilometers. Here you'll find the stunning Lara Beach, see below, as well as Cyprus Second Blue Lagoon. You can get to Akama's from Paphos by bus or car, but the best way to explore either on quad bikes or by boat from nearby Lachi. This tour includes a trip to Aphrodite's Baths as well as a boat cruise out to the Blue Lagoon. Number 10. Adonis Baths Around 12 kilometers from Paphos lies Adonis Baths, a waterfall, and a pool with ropes to jump into the lake. Swimming in the baths is supposed to preserve a woman's beauty and strengthen a man. Greek mythology says that this is the location where the Greek gods Adonis and Aphrodite had their children and spent most of their lives. They are commemorated in statue form at the baths. Number 11. Omodos Nestled in the Trudos Mountains, Omodos is the epitome of a traditional Cypriot village. Imagine cobbled streets, sandstone buildings, a busy central square, and stunning views over the mountains and you're in Omodos. One of the most beautiful places in Cyprus, Omodos is located in the heart of the wine-growing region of Cyprus and is known for its traditional glassware which is still made to this day. I recommend a trip. Number 12. Cypriot Wineries and Vineyards Cyprus is home to the world's oldest named wine. Still in production, Commandaria, and so it's no surprise that wine growing is hugely popular in Cyprus. The climate in the Trudos Mountains makes this part of the island an excellent wine growing area. Number 13. Lara Beach. Lara Beach is located within Akama's National Park and is an unspoiled slice of paradise on the Cyprus coast. It's most famous for its turtle hatchery, which is one of the last remaining sanctuaries for green and loggerhead turtles. Number 14. Water Parks Cyprus has its share of water parks, which are some of the best places to visit in Cyprus for families. There are water parks in Limassol, Paphos and Ayanapa. Water World Ayanapa is a fun day out with its ancient Greece-themed water park and rides. Number 15. Ayanapa If you're looking to party in Cyprus, then look no further than Ayanapa. It has a legendary nightlife scene and is popular with both tourists and locals. The 100 or so bars offer something for everyone, from upmarket beach clubs to paint parties and karaoke. The party season in Ayanapa runs from April to October, but is busiest in July and August, and the various bars have different themed nights during the week. Number 16. Nisi Beach Nisi Beach is a picture-perfect beach that features white sand and azure waters. The sea is very shallow here and so you can wade out for some distance, which is great for children. The beach has plenty of lounges, beach bars and water sports, so there's always something to do. You can expect fine sand and crystal clear waters here. Number 17. Aphrodite Brewery Aphrodite's Rock Microbrewery is a Cyprus must-see. If you love trying out new craft beers, located just 20 minutes away from Paphos Center, sits this amazing microbrewery. In the hills overlooking Paphos, all the beers are brewed on site, and they also serve amazing food. Number 18. Paphos Archaeological Park The Archaeological Park of Cato Paphos 
has been a UNESCO heritage site since 1980. It has various fascinating sites and monuments dating back to the 4th century BC. The park is located just beyond Paphos Harbour and is open all year round. Entry to the park is €4.50. Euros and 50 cents. With an additional to euros and 50 cents for the Tomb of Kings, don't miss it. This is one of the best things to do in Paphos by far. Number 19. Aphrodite's Rock. Aphrodite's Rock, the incredible Aphrodite Rock in Paphos, Cyprus. Aphrodite's Rock attracts visitors from all over the island. Legend has it that this is the birthplace of the goddess of love, Aphrodite herself. It's believed that if you swim around the rock, you'll achieve eternal beauty. Number 20. Limassol Marina. Limassol Marina is probably one of the best places to visit in. Cyprus for couples, because it has some really cool bars and some of the best restaurants in Limassol. My top picks include Pier 1 for a tasty brunch with an amazing view, or Bar du Soleil for evening. Cocktails. Limassol is one of my favourite places in the whole of Cyprus, particularly if you're a digital nomad living in Cyprus. Number 21. Lady Miles Beach. Lady's Mile is a 5 kilometers long beach in Limassol. It's named after the horse of a British governor, who used to love to ride the length of this beautiful beach. The coastline is both long and lovely, and there are patches of beach where you can simply lay down your towel. If you fancy a peaceful afternoon on the beach, alternatively, there are lots of lively beach bars to enjoy. Visiting Ladies Mile is one of my favourite things too. Do in Limassol. Number 22. Karina. Karina is located in the north of Cyprus, in the Turkish area. It's a very picturesque city, with a charming castle, a pretty harbour, and lovely beaches. You can visit here on this day trip from Limassol, which takes in Karina and Nicosia. The old harbour is so quaint and feels like you've stepped back in time. Number 23. Avoca's Gorge. Avoca's Gorge is one of the best places to visit in Cyprus for nature lovers and those that love getting out and being active. This is one of the best places to go hiking in Cyprus. It's a natural limestone rock formation that stands at 30 meters in height and is around 3 kilometers long. Number 24. Aphrodite Hills. The Aphrodite Hills Resort is just a five-minute drive from the famous natural monument from which it lends its name. If you love golf, there's an amazing golf course in the Aphrodite Hills Resort. It's quite expensive, at 110 euros to 170 for a round of golf, depending on the time of year. But it's a call. Number 25. Lefkara Village. Lefkara is a village outside of Limassol in the hills. It has a long history of silversmithing and lace making, even now. When you walk the cobbled streets, you will see men in the workshops. Crafting and ladies making lace dot, it's a very picturesque and pretty town full of souvenir shops and lovely cafe. If you like this video, please don't. Forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel thank you if you want to watch more videos about Cyprus. Videos link in description or you can click in my channel and watch there.